Hello everybody, I'm Quinn866 and welcome back to Undertale. So let's presume where I was off on. So yeah, continue. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so as a lot of us knew in the previous video, we asked Toriel if we could return home. Well, we had the option to do that, sorry. But I don't know, guys. I just, I have this feeling, this utter deep feeling that this is what the game wants me to do, to ask her when I go home to push her, like to p push her for more details, and I just, I don't know guys, I just kind of feel like that's not the nicest thing to do, but I've checked everything else and there's no options, like I've tried sleeping, I've tried going for the pie, there's no other options. So I hate to bring it to you, YouTube. We're gonna start this out maybe hypothetically a little darker. This game is emotional so far. What is it? Okay, let's go. How to exit the ruins. Oh, I have something, I have to do something. Stay here. Well, her face seems sad. At least she's not mad or anything. She's probably in one of these rooms then. The noted one? Want the note on it? Room under renovation. Okay, not that one. It's you. That's the mirror. Okay, well, let's keep going. Maybe in her room. Is this her room? It's Toyo's diary. Read the circle passage? Uh, no! I, I, that... I don't want to snoop in her room, especially after what I asked her. Alright, so... Oh god, is she in the basement? Okay, note to self to people who play creepypasta games or whatever, never go in the basement. The basement is the one place you're gonna die in horror movies, video games, whatever. Toriel? You okay there? You wish to know how to return home, do you not? She read my character's mind. But then again, it was kind of obvious. Oh god, please don't get mad. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. I don't know, guys. I mean, like, she sounds pretty serious when she says that. But the sprite on the uh, text box had the, her smiling or just did that concerned look. But I don't know, guys. I, I want to see what else she has to say. Please don't kill me. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they... Asgore? Okay, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I better listen to her. I mean, even if this leads to an alternate ending, bad ending, early ending, or just whatever, I, I want to see it first. Why well, still have the chance to play this and I don't have to restart my entire game. Oh, and by the way, my friend said the uh, his safe I wasn't too far in, so yeah. Night night. Huh? I expected something to happen, like a note or something. Okay, maybe maybe, maybe Toro's back in back on that uh, recliner couch. Maybe she did it, so now it leads to an alternate ending. What? What? Nothing in the kitchen. Oh, the pie? The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. I wasn't planning on eating it. Torio made that with care, and I don't want to steal from her. I still got a slice anyways from the night when I slept. Okay, so Torio... Guys, I don't know. I, I think that this is what the game makes me do. I ha I The game makes me do it. I knew it. Guys, 
Good golly, Miss Molly. I don't want to upset Toriel, but... This is just emotional, okay? I'll, I'll just presume. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Oh. Well, that turned extremely... <laughs> that turned extremely different. She went from protecting me so that I go up to my room, and then she warns me to go up to my room. Guys. Oh, what am I... What have I done? Guys, I'm not... Oh, God, no. No! I'm gonna have to fight Torio, aren't I? God, I don't want to kill her. Torio? You want to leave so badly? Hmph. <laughs> you are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Oh, no, we're fighting. Oh, this is gonna go downhill quickly. What am I supposed to... What? Oh, my God. Why did... How am I forgetting? This game has a mercy system. So I should talk to her? I should check first. Tario attack. Oh, that was best for me. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 ow. That's gonna be hard to avoid. Uh, let's talk. Couldn't think of any conversation topics. Dang it. Prepare as magical as Spare? She has nothing to say. I Tora looks through me. Spare? I don't know, guys. The game seems like she wants me to fight her, but uh patient. I like this music, it's battle fitting for the suspenseful battle, but guys, I, I, I don't, I, I don't want to hurt Tori. Uh -oh. oh, I'm at 4 health, okay, um, better heal, monster can you hit the monster can you recover 10 HP, okay. Just, oh, no, this attack, hit, hit, spare, oh, question mark, that means I'm getting some. As long as I can. Uh, oh. Spare. What are you doing? I'm trying to. Trying to not kill you. Because I don't want to do that. Attack or run away. Nope. Oh. Oh, ah. Toriel takes a deep breath. Spare. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that this isn't the only solution. I'm proving that this isn't the only solution. This this is not the only option for me to be fighting. This isn't this isn't even the best option possible. Fight me or leave. I What? Wait, 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 wait. First you stop it. What? Oh! I get it, she's proving to me that she won't, that she's testing my strength, but she won't kill me, because she still cares on the inside. Okay. I'm gonna have to keep this in note later, because, good god, I, I think, yeah, guys, I think this is gonna show Toyo's true feelings. I have to keep sparing her. Stop looking at me that way. Her eyebrows are kind of looking sadder now, rather than angry. I should keep sparing her. Go away! Fire magic isn't coming at me anymore. I'm gonna keep sparing her, guys. I don't wanna hurt her. Okay. This is certainly a dramatic battle. Oh! Her true feelings are being revealed! The eyebrows are giving away those true feelings. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. Oh my god. Good... 
golly, Miss Molly. Uh, I realize now that I can't flee. So now, I don't know. I know we do not have much, but... Oh my god, this just got sad. We can have a good life here. Oh my god. It went from a serious battle to probably a very heartwarming, saddening goodbye. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. I would if I could, but I can only spare and there's no flea option. Ugh. God, I wish... God, I wish I could just... Listen to her. Ha <laughs> ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even save a single- I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The wounds are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins... She's... We were... But... We... Oh my god. I know now. She just wanted to have a child. She wanted to be like a. F she wanted a family. <sighs> well, I think that was the best way I could have gone about this. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. This is sad. I mean. Oh! Oh my god, that's sweet. Goodbye, my child. Oh my god. Guys, this game, despite me only playing probably like the first 30 minutes of it, I'm starting to feel very heartwarmed, but also very sad at the same time. Maybe we can talk to her and, like, okay. Maybe now I can, like, choose to stay or leave. Like, maybe this will lead to a different ending. I got my hopes up because, well... Okay, so let's go up here and see where Toriel is. She's probably up here. What? Uh... Okay, not here. Oh, in her room. I should have looked there first. Doi. <laughs> I hope she's in there so I can, you know, say goodbye one last time myself. What? Well, good golly. Uh, where did Toriel go? Okay, before I go. Guys, since Toyo doesn't seem to be anywhere... Oh my god. Guys, I, I'm sorry, okay? I, I, I just... This has been such an emotional playthrough so far. And I know almost nothing about this game. Alright, let's go to bed for the time being. One more time, since Toyo gave us a room. I don't suppose we should use it one last time before we say our goodbyes. This is like a dream or something. Emily, please. Wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Oh. Oh. Foreshadowing. I see now. So they're foreshadowing something. That was interesting. I, I personally didn't expect that. I, I thought that. I thought I'd just like sleep and then like I'd wake back up again like the last time with maybe like. I don't know, a note from Toriel, but that, that was certainly interesting. But God, I feel bad for Toriel now, you know, she, all she wanted was to 
have that family-like experience and all the humans and people she cared about just left. Oh my god. That's really sad. Toyo, ruins. One last goodbye before I go. Godspeed. I'm sorry, guys. I... I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna cry, because this is just so emotional. I gotta stay positive, I gotta stay positive. Maybe there's something... Like, I, I feel like I feel like this is already the end of the game, and it's been so short. I mean, maybe... Oh! Oh, snap. Okay, nope, I'm not crying. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, <laughs> Guys, okay, Flowey, he's gonna want vengeance. Let's go back into the room. I can't go back, can I? Oh! Well, Flavi's gonna want vengeance now for the way I treated him before and not vengeance, revenge. Ugh! Go around, go! I can't go around him. There's nothing here blocking me. There's is there like an invisible wall? Something? Oh! I went out there. Oh. I don't have a choice, don't I? Please, Flowey, don't be mad at me. I just didn't touch those friendliness pellets. <laughs> Bullets! <laughs> because I was just curious. I hope he accepts my apology. Oh, snap. Okay, let me let me get my voice. <coughs> clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> so you were able to play by your own rules. Big deal. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. <laughs> Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't rigid. Uh, rigid. Rigid. Okay. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> oh, I expected him to maybe like attack or. Hey, don't chicken out, Flowey. Get. Okay, well he chickened out. Okay, well he escaped. Well, let's keep moving then. Gosh, this was certainly not the way I was expecting to start off. Well start and kind of do this third episode after all oh wait that's it credits are oh credits already that that's it we're left on a cliffhanger i didn't expect maybe there's a sequel i oh oh i see now it was like the introduction it's like a movie how they show a little bit of a preview of it first and then they show the title okay i get it now what's in these trees nothing okay um here there's a camera hidden in the bushes what why anything over here no there's a camera in the bushes okay maybe i can go back to the door i can't Okay, well, let's keep moving. Okay. This music's kind of scary, to be honest. Oh, a stick! Okay, I'll take that. It's a tough-looking ranch. It's too heavy to pick up. What? 
I could pick that up if I was her age. Come on. Yes, forget it. It's been smashed like it was nothing. Okay, I'm getting scared, guys. Creepypasta. Back to creepypasta feelings about this game. It's sweet, it's good so far, but it has creepypasta feelings to it. What was that? What was that? Uh... Okay. Wait. I can't move! Move! Do something! Don't let him attack you! Oh, uh, okay. Who should I get? I should give this guy, like, a, a deep voice. Human! Wait, why is he holding on his hand? Is he going to, like, join me in the dark leap? Oh, I see now. That's where that. Oh, I see now. This is where that guy is from. I see him on constant YouTube thumbnails. So, okay. Okay. Um. I think this guy's got like a lowish voice, considering the little eerie when the text pops up. So I'll give him like a Patrick Star voice, I guess. Huh. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? You turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever, you're human, right? I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. Oh, so this is Sans, okay. That's his name, and that's the logo. I get it now. This is where Sans comes from. Never quite knew it, but I've seen it on, like, pictures and whatnot. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. No, now my brother, Papyrus. Is he the other skeleton? The uh, yellow one? He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. Actually, I can do that a little better. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. Yeah, it's better. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Apparently, he did. Quick! Behind that conveniently shaped lamp! Oh my god! Wow, that really is coincidentally ironic. And convenient. Oh. Oh, that's the red skeleton. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days, and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles you just hang around outside your station what are you even doing staring at this lamp it's really cool do you want to look no i don't have the time for that what if a human comes through here i want to be ready i will be the one I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses Every morning, mwah, mwah. Okay, that was totally weird. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help ya. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Uh <laughs> Sans! Come on! You're smiling! I am and I hate it! <sighs> Why 
does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone! <laughs> Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. <sighs> As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Oh. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Okay. Uh. Definitely is just that. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Well, uh, I laughed, personally, because I'm a good... Oh. Actually, hey, uh, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my bro's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. <laughs> Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Well, I never said. He went in the op opposite. You know what? Never mind. Let's save. The convenience of that lamp still fills you the dirt. <laughs> okay, save. Well, that's gonna be it for now. See y'all next time.